Here's a calculation involving standard enthalpies of formation. Let's calculate the standard enthalpy change for the production of nitric acid by this chemical reaction. Now, we know we can do that by taking the sum of the heats of formation of all the products and subtract the sum of the heats of formation of all the reactants. So we have to go to a table and look up all the heats of formation. So we can do that. Here they are, the heat of formation of aqueous nitric acid, the heat of formation standard for NO gas, the standard enthalpy of formation for NO2 gas, and the standard enthalpy of formation of liquid water. We combine those and we can calculate the enthalpy for this chemical reaction. So let's do that. The sums of all the product enthalpies of formation, the sums of all the reactant enthalpies of formation. Aqueous nitric acid, NO gas, those are the products. The reactants are NO2 gas and liquid water. There are those enthalpies of formation. Now we have to sum them up, but we have to realize, well, there's two moles of nitric acid formed in this chemical reaction. So let's account for that. 2 times the enthalpy of formation of nitric acid. For the reactants, there's 3 moles of NO gas involved, NO2 gas involved. So let's multiply that enthalpy of formation by 3, and we can do that math. And sum now to find the sum of the enthalpies of formation of all the products, and the sum of the enthalpies of formation of all the reactants. 324.47 kilojoules for the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the products, and minus 186.29 for the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants. Now, I simply have to take the enthalpies of formation of the products, subtract away the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants. That is minus 138.18 kilojoules. So when this reaction occurs, according to this stoichiometry, 138 kilojoules are released. It's an exothermic reaction, negative on the enthalpy scale. And that corresponds to the production of two moles of nitric acid. So two moles of nitric acid produced, 138 kilojoules. If I had one mole produced, then that would be half this enthalpy, or approximately 70 kilojoules. So keep track of your stoichiometric coefficients and enthalpies, and you'll be able to calculate enthalpies of any chemical reaction from formations of the products and enthalpies of formation of the reactants.